So this is it. Domestic football across the continent may all be done and dusted in the major leagues. But now we have the ultimate spectacle to conclude the season. The earliest phase in qualifying started way back at the beginning of last summer. And now there are just two teams standing. A show not just for the capacity crowd here, but one for the whole world. The global audience, they say, some 300 million. These scenes brought to you from the Stade Louis d'Or, one of the most easily distinguishable grounds in Europe. So we're almost there, all one can see, a look of utter focus on the faces of all involved. You've been there, Jim Beglin. What will they be thinking as they wait for the whistle? Well, you're right, Peter, I have been in this position, and the message is usually something like, remember all the work, the hard work you've put in to get this far. So don't leave anything out there now. Do what you're good at. It's better than what they can offer. Stick to that, and you hope it'll be enough. So, just who will seize their moment? Look, we can only hope for a final that will be free-flowing and end-to-end -end and highly entertaining, but fear of defeat can often dominate the motion. That's surely a foul free kick. Casemiro. Modric. Sergio Ramos. Forward it goes. Now it's Griezmann. Nicely measured pass. And very well to intervene. Just needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Casemiro brings the ball forward. Casemiro, this is promising. Oh, he's put too much on it. And it's played forward. Jordi Alba desperately wants to get on the end of this. Barcelona are experts at this stylish possession-based game. Well, we're talking tiki-taka, a, a lot of short, crisp passing, and, and once the ball is lost, they quickly try to win it back. Gets wrestled off the ball. Oh, defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Going through. Longley, very firm in standing his ground there. It is a tough full-contact contest. Arthur, and here's Jordi Alba. Griezmann. Looking to break out here. Hazard. Shapes to shoot! Something big. Perfect placement. The one place the keeper couldn't reach. Yeah, okay, it's gone in with the help of the crossbar, but that was merited due to the quality of the strike. Madrid have made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? 
Well, Peter, the emphasis should now switch to winning it rather than even thinking about losing it. Vidal tries to stroke it through. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Griezmann gets on the end of it. Goes for goal! He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Well weighted. And he's onside. Going for goal. He scored. All too easy. They are in danger of disappearing out of sight. Well, he was never going to miss them there. So much to aim at. Yeah, and all engineered, Peter, by some smart running and movement. That's already something to admire, but how about the pass? Just wonderful. Loved it. Things starting to look very comfortable. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt will be looking to, to cause even more damage here. Griezmann. Varane battles to win it back. And here's... M and Messi! That has certainly tested the keeper. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Rafael Varane. Modric. Valverde. That'll be a throw. Now it's Azar. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Arthur. Whistle's gone, and we've reached the halfway point of the final. Half time in the final, Jim, how do you read it? Well, it's obvious who's likely to be more content going in at half time, but I sincerely hope that there's a, a fitting response from the opposition to really engage us on the big occasion. Madrid sitting pretty here at half time, 2 0 up. And we are already promptly back on the way. Vidal. Arthur. Towering header. In for the follow-up. Dispatch clinically. The second half sparked straight into life. Well, he was never going to miss from there. Oh, Peter, you can't teach that. You either have it or you don't. His anticipation is on another level to everyone else's. Superb. Well, the manager called on him. He was only too happy to repay that fate. That's how you make an impact as a sub. You know, when most are tiring, you can impose a freshness and energy to best effect. What an introduction. This is threatening to become a really good game. Our scoring early in this half just takes the pressure off now and allows them a chance to be a bit more patient in trying to level things up. And it's Azar. He's away! Oh, good determined running there, but one back by the defence. Oh, look, his determination needed to be greater than the obstacle he was faced with, and it wasn't. Vidal. And a header! Oh, he couldn't get the direction he needed. I have to commend the wing play, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Sergio Ramos drives it forward. Valverde. Hazard. Lucas Vasquez. Hazard. Just deflected behind for a corner. So here comes a substitution. And he's there to clear it. Suarez goes looking. Out to the right. 
He's got away. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. Oh, he's pulled off a fine save. Well, I thought a starting position was good, and that helped the keeper to judge the flight of the ball and, and deal with it well. Barcelona are keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. Messi! <laughs> the changes then in quick succession. Messi, real chance! Barcelona are definitely going about this the right way. Hitting hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Just has to be done. No, that's not the ball he wanted. Lucas Vasquez. Titi does well there, alert. Jordi Alba. No question, that's a foul. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Barcelona are looking strong on the break. Winning the ball in midfield is one thing, but it's the clever use of counter-attacking. That's the real highlight. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. This has become one superb game of football. Listen, with the momentum that goal gives them now, they may well push for a winner before the 90 minutes is up. Players don't... Bell! Goal of his mercy. Somehow he's missed it. Well, maybe the tension around this game played a part in that because he should have put them ahead then. Barcelona to make one last surge forward. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. And it's Bale. It's a good run down the right. Where could this lead? Bales cross, and he's cut it out. This official showing that there will be three minutes of added time. Rakitic. Well, they're supposed to be chasing a goal, and yet there's no urgency or sense of awareness. They've got to wake up. PK. Nothing to separate them. We have extra time. I don't think either manager can have any complaints, really, because nobody quite pushed for the winning goal, and it always lacked that spark. So 90 minutes, couldn't produce a winner, and we have extra time. Well, we are already up and running again. Madrid pay the price for failing to close out the match in normal time. Can they avoid the same fate here, where the consequences are still more serious? Modric. Madrid have it back and they can go again. Finds himself eased off the ball. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Vidal. Ricky Pooch. Jordi Alba. And here's Suarez. Now it's Messi. And Messi! No, he couldn't find the finish. Sergio Ramos. Rakitic.
And now they can launch a counter. Suarez gets flagged offside. Extra time reaches half time. Well, there's plenty of potential for a final twist in this turf. I think there's bound to be some late drama in the final 50. The whistle goes, we're off and running. The last 15 minutes, the closing stretch of a marathon final. Rakitic has set up one goal so far. And it's Jordi Alba. And here's Suarez. Suarez has got himself a free kick. Jordi Alba. Hoists it forward. Casemiro gets into the right position to intercept. Oh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, I mean, he, I think he did well to, to spot the run. He just didn't get enough behind it. It happens. He gets past his man. Draws one in. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. It's a fabulous position. He's gone for it! Oh, what a wonderful stop! The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Repelled by the keeper. And that's it. Nothing between them. It is penalties. Ah, it's a big well done to both defences for refusing to buckle under the pressure. Fatigue with focus is, is not the norm. Two long hours. It comes down to nerve, to technique under pressure, to penalties. So we have to find a winner, and this is the only way. They could really do with scoring the first penalty. And he's found the net. Yeah, it's a guessing game for the keeper, and he guessed wrong. Suarez next in line, and here he is. Coolly done, one each. Always a little more pressure when you're trailing, but it didn't show. So, the second man in line. Oh, that was a great strike. He just gave the keeper absolutely no chance. And stepping up, the skipper. How confident was that? Backed himself all the way. The third man in the queue. Brilliantly done. Never took his eye off the keeper either. Jordi Alba is third in line. Steps up to take the fourth penalty. Coolly into the bottom corner. He was always looking good there. Nice penalty. Vidal is the fourth man to step up. And he's found the corner. Well, he strolled up and struck that with great confidence. That's a superb spot kick. And so the captain steps up. It's in, too smart for the keeper. 
Yeah, made his mind up very quickly and just didn't waver. Calmly, he puts the ball down on the spot. He cannot afford to miss. Saved it! And that's that! Madrid have done it. It is party time as they gather to get their hands on the trophy. What a moment this is for all connected with the team. It's a day for pride, a day for glory. Another grand chapter to be added to their glittering history.